This sneaker right here, the Air Jordan 1 Shattered Backboard 3.0 releases on October 26th. Retail is $160. In this video, we're going to talk about how to cop these sneakers, where to cop these sneakers, and resell predictions on the Air Jordan 1 Shattered Backboard 3.0. I have done a review and on feet video of this sneaker right here, so I'll link that up above. Make sure you guys go check out that video. If you love sneakers and giveaways, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below because we have a giveaway going on for a pair of Yeezy Boost 350 V2 Citroen size 11. I'm giving away this pair right here on October 20th in just a few days. I will be announcing the winner on my Instagram stories. To enter this giveaway, all you guys need to do is hit that subscribe button down below, hit that post notification bell and turn on all notifications. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter if you have both and then click the link down below in the description and go to the video that I recently did on a massive sneaker on Boxing and on that video just leave a comment telling me why you want these Yeezys and at the end of your comment Make sure you leave your Instagram username if you want a bonus entry for these Yeezys All you need to do is of course make sure that you enter the giveaway then go on Instagram Make sure you give me a follow and then send me a DM on Instagram with screenshots with proof that you did everything to enter the giveaway Good luck before we talk about how to cop resell predictions and the release and all of the details I do want to talk about the this sneaker the colorway and the details of this sneaker very very quickly I did talk about this sneaker more in depth in that review video once again I'll link it up above and down below in the description make sure you guys go check out that video having these in hand I have to be honest I think this is a better looking sneaker in hand than I think it is in pictures I don't think pictures make the sneaker look good I think pictures make the sneaker honestly look really really bad you guys need to see the sneaker in hand but with that being said it's still is the shattered backboard colorway the details are there the colorway is there so still a really dope air jordan one and i'm sure everybody like i said is going to go after this air jordan one this is going to be a very hyped release everybody's going to go after this sneaker we're going to talk about how to cop this sneaker where to cop this sneaker and resell right now so i want to start off with the reverse of instead of how to cop these sneakers where to cop let's talk about resell to start off what's resell gonna do on this this sneaker because there are other shattered backboard sneakers of course because this is now the 3.0 version so let's talk about resale on the other shattered backboards and then we'll talk about resale on this one so on the air jordan 1 shattered backboard the original it wasn't that high when it first released resale was right around 350 400 depending on size and then now it just skyrocketed i mean then it skyrocketed up to like six to seven hundred now the air jordan 1 shattered backboard 1.0 it's like over a thousand dollars we then got the release of the Shadow Backboy 2.0 and resell on that sneaker was not really there at all when it first released. That sneaker, when it first released, was not very profitable. I actually copped, I think, two or three pairs, and I only made maybe 50 or 60 bucks a pair. I wasn't crazy about the sneaker. I kind of regret not holding on to them. Then the 2.0 absolutely just skyrocketed in price even more. They're like seven, eight hundred dollars now. So the Shadow Backboard sneakers have all really gone up in price, and I think the same is going to happen with this sneaker. However, I think it's going to take a lot more time because we're going to get more pairs of this Shadow Backboard sneaker than probably any other shattered backboard air jordan one high not the low not the mid i'm just talking about the high version the 1.0 the 2.0 i think we're going to get more pairs of the 3.0 than the 1.0 or the 2.0 and resale is going to play a factor into that because right now resale is not crazy crazy high in comparison to what it is on the 1.0 and the 2.0. Smaller sizes of the Air Jordan 1 Shadow Backboard are going to be the most profitable. Definitely go after a smaller size for this release if you are a reseller. Bigger sizes are going to resell as well, but will not be as profitable. For numbers, I definitely think the smaller sizes will go around 350 to 450, and the bigger sizes will go around, I would say, probably 280 to 3, 320. I don't think they'll go too low, maybe 250 to 260. I don't think they'll go too much lower than that. It's still going to be a very profitable sneaker, and I think a lot of people are going to get their hands on them, but this is going to be a sneaker to hold on to, especially, especially in the smaller sizes, guys. The Shadow Backboard 3.0 is pretty much guaranteed to go up in price from 
release. It's pretty much guaranteed. They're going to go up in price. It's going to take some time. Not too long, I don't think. I think this one will go up kind of fast. I think the smaller sizes will definitely be a very good hold of the sneaker. I think any size will really go up in price, but the smaller sizes will probably go up a lot faster because it's the Shider Backboard colorway, and it is an Air Jordan 1 nonetheless. It is a very dope shoe, like I said. The outsole is pretty unique. I do like the outsole color. I feel like a lot of people are not going to like this sneaker, and a lot of people are going to like this sneaker, so I feel like it's going to be a toss-up, but there is resale for this sneaker, and this is a very profitable sneaker in any size. Now, how to cop the Air Jordan 1 Shattered Backboard 3.0? How can you get your hands on these for retail? We're going to start off, of course, with the Nike Sneakers app. They are dropping on October 26th, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on the Nike Sneakers app. Either going to be a draw or let everyone order. I have a feeling we're going to get a draw which kind of sucks. Eh, it is what it is. It could be a let everyone order, which means you just place your order. And if it doesn't give you a W, you can try again, most likely, as long as it's still in stock. So hopefully it's that. If not, it might be a draw. Either way, Nike sneakers 10 a.m. They are dropping for 160. To increase your chances on the Nike sneakers app, you want to make sure you have multiple Nike accounts. You need to verify each account with a phone number. The more accounts you have, the better it does increase your chances of copying. Also, the Shattered Backboard 3.0 will be at Foot Locker Foot Action Champs. They will be on the apps. They are not right now as I'm recording this video, but they're going to be on the apps. They're not going to be at every single location, but there'll be a good amount of pairs at a good amount of stores. So it shouldn't be too hard to cop. I think a lot of people are going to take L's because I feel like a lot of people are going to go after them, but I also feel like a lot of people are going to take W's. And cop the sneaker for retail so definitely do what you got to do put in the work try to cop it's definitely a sneaker worth going after they'll also be dropping at Foot Locker Foot Action Champs East Bay and Finish Line as well the Finish Line app they're on the Finish Line app right now as I'm making this video head on to the Finish Line app right now and make sure you get your entry in on the Finish Line app and in a few days we can expect them on the Foot Site apps as well when they release on the Foot Sites Foot Locker Foot Action Champs East Bay you want to be on the site early try to get on the website really about a half hour to 45 minutes early because if you're not early if you're too late you're not gonna be able to get on the websites at all because they do crash so you want to be on the links for the Jordan ones on each website early a half hour 45 minutes early and then sit there and try to manually add to cart and hope and pray that it goes to your cart if it does go to your cart log into your account for a faster checkout and try checking out with PayPal and credit card try to place that order I know these foot sites sometimes you can get to cart really easy but it's like impossible to check out and place your order. You gotta sit there and keep trying. Guys, do not give up. On these sneaker releases, that is one thing I have learned throughout all the years. Do not give up on a release until it is 100% over. Some releases can take hours. I'm telling you guys, do not give up until it is 100% over. A lot of hype for the sneaker, a lot of demand for the sneaker. There's going to be resale for the sneaker. Guys, do what you need to do. Put in the footwork, put in your raffles to secure your pair to increase your chances of copying the Air Jordan 1 Shattered Backboard 3.0. I'm telling you guys, this is definitely a sneaker that you're going to want to go after. A lot of people are not probably, you know, fans of the sneaker right Right now but I'm telling you guys after the release everyone's going to want this sneaker it's just how the game's gonna work everyone's you know kind of mad at them and how they look online before release and when they first saw pictures everyone was mad but I'm telling you guys when you get your hands on them it's going to change I'm telling you right now, I really think the market's going to change. I feel like everybody's going to change their opinion on this sneaker. Everyone's going to want to wear this sneaker, rock this sneaker, because it is, at the end of the day, the Air Jordan 1. It's going to be somewhat limited, you know, because they're going to sell out, because the demand is there, and everyone wants them. It is the Shadow Backboard colorway, guys. Do not sleep on this release. I'm telling you, do what you need to do to cop this, this is a definitely, definitely a dope shoe. And in my opinion, one of the best Air Jordan 1s of 2019. 
18. Yes, I said it. I think, in my opinion, one of the best. Not the best, definitely not the best, but one of the best Air Jordan 1s of 2019 right here. And definitely a very dope shoe. I'm not crazy about the materials. I wish it was a normal leather, not this shiny leather with crinkleness and, you know, wrinkleness all in it, but it is still a dope colorway, and like I said, it is still an Air Jordan 1. Let me know how you guys feel about the Air Jordan 1 Shattered Backboard 3.0 down below in the comment section. Do you like this sneaker? Do you not like this sneaker? Make sure, guys, I'm telling you, make sure you try to cop on release day. At least get your hands on them, try to get your hands on them, and see what they look like, and then determine if you like them or not. If you don't like them, go ahead, sell them, trade them. It's definitely worth copying for retail. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this video was useful. If it was, make sure you smash that like button. More family, I did break my fingers if you don't know. And now I'm in another cast. I did have surgery last week, well the other day. Now I'm in another cast. I'm going through physical therapy. I am a mess, but you know, I'm getting better. So I'm gonna take some time. I'm gonna be like this for a few weeks and uh, yeah, just gotta get through this. It is what it is. Thank you guys so much for the love and the support. Thank you guys for rocking with me. We're about to hit 10,000 subscribers, which is just absolutely crazy. We're very, very close. Thank you guys so much for the love and the support. And let me know down below, more family, for an, a 10,000 subscriber giveaway. Let me know what you want me to give away next at 10. Okay. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys join the more family. Hit that subscribe button. Smash that like button. We're always on the grind. We're never gonna stop. Always dropping that fire. Straight fire. Thank you guys so much for watching. We out.